Morning, folks. Just only me again. Uh, coming to you through technology, using technology to show you a lesson, to show you something, using this and using this, which, of course, are more technologically advanced, I suppose, than a piece of paper and a pencil. Mind you, they were actually fairly technological, too. You know, it takes a certain amount of work to write and make a pencil. It takes a certain amount of skills, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, to make paper. Nevertheless, relatively simple means to demonstrate the idea of variation. Variation is simply changing one thing while keeping others the same. For example, Hang on a second. Consider the following rhythm. Ta, T, 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 Ta. Yeah, I should have put four, four measures. Ta, ta. Yeah, I should have done that. Already. Yeah, well, what do you know? I'm not using the update technology, so the, obviously that's the only reason why I made that mistake. As it's that technology. Okay, so we got that. All right, now, quick ways to vary this. Quick ways to vary something like this. Take that ta, t, 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 ta, and move the quarter notes to where the eighth notes were, and vice versa. For example, thus. T, T, ta, ta, T, T. Right? Relatively, yeah, that's one way of taking those rhythms and varying them. Okay? Another way to do it. Notice that each half of the measure, each half, hang on a second, I need, I need a different color marker for this to make this, to really make the point. Hang on a second, I'll be right back. Yeah, oh, here we go. Uh, no, that's black. I'll be right back. Sounds like. Yeah, so I should have thought about this earlier, but didn't. Sorry about that. Uh, fine, how about Sorry about that. Uh, notice that in each half of those two measures of 4-4, four, four, right, in each half of those measures, and let me just cut those measures in half with an, an imaginary line, right, you'll notice that each of those halves of a measure contain a quarter note and an eighth note. Sometimes it's two eighth notes quarter, and sometimes it's quarter two eighths. Right? So, another way to vary this is to do something like this. To take something like this. Make that Something like that, right? So, first rhythm, ta, t, 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 ta. Second rhythm, t, t, ta, t, t, t. And then the third rhythm is ta, t, t, ta, t, t. Right? You can also do this. Hang on a second. Getting a fourth rhythm, T T ta 
T T ta. Right? Now notice also that in each half of the each half of those measures, you've got two eighth notes and a quarter. So you could also do something like this. Eighth note, quarter, eighth note, and then eighth note, quarter, eighth note. So that rhythm is T T T T T T. Now cinco pa cinco pa. Right, and notice very quickly you get one, two, three, four, five little light rhythmic patterns that you can use to write music with. Variation. Taking something and changing parts of it while keeping some things the same. Variation. Variation. And notice that within that took Well, my clock says about seven minutes, right? Using this, using that, which is a slightly more advanced, well, if you want to call it advanced, a slightly technologically sophisticated version of paper and pencil. Writing stuff down. Writing stuff down. The plain, old, boring writing stuff down on either a piece of paper and a pen or pencil or something very similar there to writing it down so you've got it so you can save it for later or use it now write it down write it down save it for later you never know what might come of it. That is if you got it and you understand the basic principle of variation. Anyway, just more thought. Bye for now. <laughs>